Hello everybody, uh, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I know it's not a Christmas card but I need a couple of thank you cards. So I thought I'd show you how I made them. Give a break from Christmas. I apologise for my voice and my breathlessness. I've um, uh, obviously got chest infection, sinus infection. So I'm on steroids and antibiotics to help clear it up. So forget all that, let's get on with this. And I apologise if you hear me sniffing because I have got a cold. Right, to make this card I have used lots of things. I use this stencil, one of Stampin' Up stencils. Um, I used vellum. I used humming along for the thank you and also um, the die for the sentiment. Cut a couple of them out. I used an old set, oh so eclectic, for this leaf. Yeah. And I'm using one of my own stamps, this one, with the writing as I want writing closer together um, my I've got a Stampin' Up! handwritten one, the big one but the writing's too far apart so I wanted it closer together and smaller um, I'm also using Rococo Rose this time so I've got a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths Scored it for a one eight, folded in half and burnished. A piece of smoky slate at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white cardstock at five and a half by three and three quarters. I've got a piece of Rococo rose and a piece of vellum for the leaves. I have got two spare leaves here, but I need another vellum leaf. And I need three Rococo rose leaves, which I might as well do them now while I'm here. Get them out of the way. Oh, I'm using the Triple Leaf Punch. I'm stamping up this one here. Right, I don't need that no more. And I need one more vellum. use vellum very often but I've got some right so that's that done and like I said before I've got well I've got two actually in case I make a mistake um, two labels for the thank you I've also got some pearls that I collared in with the Rococo Rose um, alcohol marker yeah, and I'm also going to use a Blackberry Bliss pen to do the splatters, which you'll see afterwards. Right, this idea for this card wasn't mine. It was off YouTube by an Australian lady called Donna Donna Gray. Now I remembered. The stamp set she used, I don't have. So this is how I've come to using what I've got in my stash to make a card similar to hers. It's not exactly the same. It's similar to hers using what I've got in my stash. I think she used the stamp set. Let me see. Let me get it out. Can't remember what it's called. It's an, like an antique. Um, no, not that one. If I can find it. Well, I'll put it this way, it's on my shopping list for next month. There, that one. Very versatile. She used that. So that was the leaves she used and the writing. So I'm improvising with this. Right, I'll get started and need this. Let's put this over there. 
ink colours I'm using are Smoky Slate, Rococo Rose and Blackberry Bliss. So, got a stencil. Any stencil you can use. I just want a bit of background on this. You know, to um, another layer. I'll do Got my brush. And a bit of scrap. Because I'm going straight on the pad, which I don't normally do, but for the amount I need, I might as well go on the pad because I'm not doing a lot. Right, I think that's got a mark on it. I've got to turn it over. Just doing this in the middle of the page, just leaving a bit of a pattern. Just uh, you know, layer up the card. That'll do fine. So you don't need that, don't need that. I don't need that anymore. Right, now uh, we want to add our leaf. No, wrong one. All right. Right, this stamp is like this. Um, and I'm not putting a block on it because I don't want a square. If you know, I don't want a square bit. So what I'm doing, I'm putting it at an angle on the ink pad, press it down, pick it up with my hand like that, and now I'm going to lay it straight on my card and just press it out. That's quite dark, that. That's okay. We'll see what it's like. Right, now with Blackberry Bliss and the leaf out of um, Oh So Eclectic, I'm going to stamp it just to see how dark it is. Not that dark. I thought it would be darker than that. That'll do. I'm going to put one there. I'll turn it round and put one there. I'll do that. Um, I need this. I'm going to put my thank you on here. There we are. I'll clean them after. Alright, all we need now, oh, now we're going to make a mess, so I'm going to open that up, put that on there, and with my Blackberry Bliss and the brush end, I'm going to flick ink all over me, page, she says. Not 
coming out very well. Then that'll do. Right, and now we should just layer this up with our card. When I seen her, this Donna Gray make these cards, I thought they were really nice. So I went through my stash to see what I could use. And I made these, and I think they're quite, oh, smudge that. I think they're quite nice. So, right, that is going to go across there, and with the leaves, what I did was oh, try and pick up the vellum ones. The vellum leaves at the bottom I'm just brought them round to the front so they look like they're on the top and then I just glued and put a bit of glue under there and I'll stick that one oh I know what I did I stuck this on first so, get some dimensionals. these on. Right, on this one I'm going to put the vellum bottom leaves behind and leave the top one showing and then we'll just glue the vellum where you can't see it. And this one I'm going to stick So put the vellum behind. Fiddly. Yeah. 
I'm talking like that one there. Let's see if I can get it up. Put that one too near the middle and it's really stuck. Oh, that's better. I'll stick it there. Right. to do so put the stopper in the glue is find some gems I've already colored them in I got some pearls and I colored them in with the cocoa rose alcohol marker trouble is they look more pink easier to handle and that is that I have got to put a card inside a five and five eighths by three and seven eighths but I'm going to write on it first write my message of thanks and then I'll stick that in there as you can see I haven't done this one either because I've got to write my letters I hope you like them if you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cast, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more um, videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.